and you just dig into it just just like this oh look at that look at that and you want to eat it when it's hot let's give it a test mm. again we have to finish what we started right you can't, can't just leave it undone all right guys, today I'm going to be cooking for you guys some queso fundido. It's a very simple, a very delicious Mexican style appetizer I'm gonna cook for you guys. Like always, the ingredients are going to be listed in the description, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we are going to start with is going to be our chorizo. And so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this chorizo removed from the casing just like so, and we're gonna get it just thrown in there. And I'm gonna use an entire pack of chorizo for this. Go ahead, get all this chorizo in here, an entire pack, just like so. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna put oil in here. This uh, chorizo has plenty of fat that's gonna just render out and you're gonna actually see how much of this uh, fat is in the chorizo. Here we go, we're almost there. We'll go ahead and we'll get this cooked up. And this queso fundido is one of my favorite childhood memories. I remember my dad going, making this at our cookouts, at our barbecue. The only difference is that today we are going to make it in the oven. My dad used to throw it on the barbecue pit while he was out there grilling and barbecuing. And so today we're just going to make it nice and easy. We're going to throw it in the oven. But man, this just takes me back to my childhood memory. All right. So this is looking pretty darn good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab just a little bit of this chorizo. Not much. I'm going to put this on the side. We're going to save this for just honestly just presentation later. Presentation plays a really big part. And so that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead, spread this out, this chorizo out just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our Oaxaca cheese and that's what we're gonna use to make this. So I got my Oaxaca cheese right here and this is about 20 ounces of cheese. And we're gonna go ahead and we are just going to just drizzle it all over just like so. And right before I started cooking the chorizo, I actually went ahead and I preheated the oven to about 400 degrees. So that's probably a little note you want to put in your head is once you're about to get started, if you're going to cook it in the oven, preheat the oven to about 400 degrees. We're going to go and just put all of our cheese here. Just like this. And just spread it out real nice and even. just like so and we are gonna go ahead we're gonna put this in our oven for about five ten minutes we're just gonna play by ear until the cheese melts that's our goal the cheese needs to melt and once the cheese melts it's gonna be good to go me in the oven normally it's about seven eight minutes so I'm gonna throw it in there so I'm gonna go ahead put it in there 400 degrees and we'll check back to it at about seven minutes all right, so this is where we put the taquero mucho CJ touch on this dish. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to cook a New York strip steak. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with just, just a little bit of some oil, just like so. We don't need too much oil. Right, and that oil is getting hot because the pan is already hot. We're gonna go ahead and grab our New York, our New York steak. We're gonna go ahead and just Season it with just salt and pepper. That's it. That's all we need. That's how me and my family, we cook our steaks with just some salt and pepper. Go ahead, drop it on there just like that. We're gonna hit this other side with some seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead, give it about a minute and we're just gonna flip it over. All right, so it's been about a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna flip this steak over just like so. And once we flip it over, we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna add some butter. You know, you can go ahead, add a generous amount of butter. Don't be scared of that butter. Do not be scared of that butter. Just like so. Get that cooked on here. 
Give it about another minute, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip it again. All right, now that the steak's been cooking for some while, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna add some garlic. And the reason why I don't add the garlic from the get-go is because the garlic will end up burning because we are cooking with some high heat. Like so, let's go ahead, give it another flip. Here at my house, we eat our steaks medium rare, so it's getting to a point where it's looking, it's feeling pretty darn good. So we'll go ahead, cook it for about a minute or so, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take this off. All right, and just like that, our steak feels pretty darn good. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to remove it, throw it on this plate, and let this steak just rest for a little bit. It looks like our cheese might be ready to go as well. All right, and just like that, it is done. It's nice, it's melted, it looks incredible. And this is the Taquero CJ Touch we like to put on there. So these steaks, um, the well done steaks, they are for the kids. The kids don't eat, um, you know, uh, rare meat just yet, but these uh, medium rare meats, these are gonna be for Brittany and I, but look at that. This is just that little touch we like to put on there. Give it a little bit of some, a little bit of some of that meat. And then we can't forget about the chorizo we put aside, right, for the garnish. Chorizo just, just like that. And right here we have ourselves some queso fundido. Look at it, it looks delicious. Let's go ahead and let's give it a taste test. One way we like to eat it is with some tortillas de harina. And so we're gonna go ahead and grab our tortillas, cut it in half just like this. And you just dig into it just, just like this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And you wanna eat it when it's hot. Let's give it a test. Mm. Again, we have to finish what we started, right? We can't, can't just leave it undone. Mm. Babe, give it a taste test. Let me know how, let me know how we did. Let me know how we did. How is it, babe? So good. So good. These steaks take it to a whole other level. This is, again, Childhood memories right here. My dad used to call it a chori queso is what he used to call it. Oh, and look at the baby. I guess the baby had some as well. He's over there enjoying it as well. But if you like this recipe, go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel. I promise you, you won't regret it. Can't wait to see you at the next video.